All right, y'all, I'm back. I've got my cross cut out. Pick it up for you here. And I shaped off the excess gum paste. And that's why you came to this woman's funeral. Because you want money? Then I did my crown, but it's not as perfect as I want it to be, but I would do that one over. I just want to show you that if you mess up, you can just always crumble it up and start back over. And see, I had broke this by accident. So you can just crumble it back up and start it back over. But I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just going to move forward with the crosses that I already have made up. So you get the bow as I said. Push this out the way. We're gonna put some of our luster dust. This is gold. You can purchase this from your Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Cake Art Store if you have one near you. And it, I think I'm gonna use this brush. Yeah, this brush this brush is suitable for me or you can use this brush whichever one you want to use you might use this one just take a little bit of the dust out and place it in your bowl be sure to put the lid back on because you don't want to have this house with it spilling over and then I'm going to place a drop if you have droppers, go ahead and use it. I'm just going to use the cap. I pour a little bit in the cap. And then I'm going to put it in the bowl. I don't know if you saw how much I did, but this is the alcohol here. This is the dust here. And you just, you know, mix it around in there so you can get your gold. You want to put one drop of this in your coat, your look, one drop of the alcohol in your dust. Just mix it around like so. You can add more dust if need be, which I probably will. Then I'm going to pull my crossover and I'm going to begin painting it. Now another trick if you don't have alcohol, you can do this with pure lemon juice. If you have to squeeze it, be sure to take the run it through the strainer if you don't have it in the bottom. So you just paint it on like so. Well, you found me. I liked your speech. What I heard of it anyway. I especially like the part where you told the whole town to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm a real crowd pleaser. Wish I knew how to zoom in on my camera. Let's cap. I'm gonna put some more alcohol in my So how about you take a bath? I'll find us some stupid movie on TV, something with aliens. I'm gonna put some more of the dust in there. I just I need to be alone. And this stuff is very expensive. This little tube. This little tube is very expensive. I don't know why they sell so little of it in this jar, but I feel like they need to sell bigger ones. Because this little jar is not going to get you anywhere. She said she wants to be alone. Well, I don't.
So you just paint this up like so until you're, you know, got it fully covered. Be careful not to squish it or press on it because you will mess up the shape of it. And gum paste dries really quick, so what well, hardens really quick than fondant. Now, because this video is demonstrating, I'm doing this without a glove, but when you're working with for customers, you want to make sure you have on gloves. You don't want to be touching over all over people's food that they're going to eat. But for demonstration purposes, I'm not having on any gloves. And I'm not doing this for anybody. I'm just taking the time out because I wanted to do something. And this is what I like to do. This is what keeps me calm, takes my mind off of things, and just bake. So if you can see my gold cross, this is what it will look like, the finished product. Um, I don't want to lift it up because it's wet right now. But you get the picture. I'm quite sure if you're doing this with me, you should see how it comes out. All right. So let me get an Oreo. All right, so this is our final product. I have my Oreos here. I pulled them out of the fridge and I just took some gold dust and I just went on the side and just splattered some on there. So you're really supposed to wait until your cross is dry, but um, just for demonstration purposes, as I stated, I'm just going to show you real quick. I picked it up with my spatula here and I'm going to place it on my Oreo. I put a little bit of the alcohol dust here in the center so it can stick or you can make it stick with a little bit of the chocolate that you have left over. But for time's sakes, I'm just doing this for now. And as it dry on there, It'll dry on there overnight. You just simply slide it off very easily. Be careful not to break it. As you see, I'm breaking mine because I wasn't supposed to move it. Kind of an easy fix here you can push it back up and move it around I find my stick but as you can see it came out very very pretty oh it's still intact it was about to break but you can either push it all the way up, but you you might get a little hangover on your Oreo. That's fine. But that's how you do it. And I'm not going to move the other one. I'm going to let it dry before I even move it. But And then if you want, because I moved it, you could just go back over some touches with your gold to make sure it's fully on there and then as it dry you will see the gold more on your gum paste I just put some more gold there you don't really have to do this step with the gold on the edges I just did that for my purposes <laughs> just so I can dry this gold out of my dish because I don't want to leave no gold in here empty 
do some finish touch finish touches on it you can shape it around if you like careful not to jab on the cookie and there you have it your chocolate covered oreo i use black for the cookie the chocolate mold and then i use gold for my cross if you like my video please like rate and subscribe and if there's something that you would like to see me make please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you all for watching and good night.